Making sure callers and certified installers. Setting up a booster system can be pretty intimidating if you don't have experience working with cellular enhancers. In this video series, we'll be breaking down some of the most common terms used in the in-building wireless solutions market so you can have a better understanding of what they mean and how they apply to the system. First, let's talk about dB and dBm. dB, or decibels, is typically used when talking about gain or loss in a system. It's a comparison between two numbers and has a complicated mathematical process that we'll not be covering for time's sake. DBM, or decibel milliwatts, is used when the signal strength is known or properly calculated. Many times these terms are used interchangeably to report an increase or decrease in signal strength. Speaking of signal strength, when looking at signal strength in DBM, the further you get from the number zero, the worse the signal gets. In SureCall systems, a signal strength between negative 45 and negative 95 dBm is ideal. The overall performance of the signal booster can be measured in what is called gain and loss. Gain is an increase in signal strength, while loss is a decrease in signal strength. Let's look at loss first. Take the cable you use for example. At 900 MHz, 100 feet of your standard RG6 type cable has 6 dB of loss. While the cable we use in SureCall boosters, called 400 coaxial cable, only has 3.9 dB of loss. In terms of gain, using an omnidirectional antenna outside will give you a 3 to 4 dB of gain in all directions, while a Yagi antenna will give you 9 to 11 dB of gain in a specified direction. Join us next time where we'll explore more terms used by installers and engineers in the in-building wireless solutions market. Feel free to like and subscribe, and thanks for using SureCall to raise your bars.